When I was starting out, I used this one scale shape, like most players, a lot. But without realizing it, over the years, I started gravitating towards this variation of it. Then one day I realized that I was doing this and uh, I kind of noticed it resembled a U and it's something that you can definitely benefit from. It's so simple. So let's give a listen to a melody played with the first scale shape versus how it sounds with the U shape. So it's nice that on guitar we have these movable scale shapes so you can learn it once and then move around, but if you want to get into lots of them, it can be a daunting task because it feels like it can be endless. I used to have this book that was like this thick of just scale shapes, just mapping out the whole guitar, and I would spend so many hours trying to memorize them and being really disconnected from actually making good music with it, which um, should really be the priority. So sometimes it's nice to just double down on some simple things and really focus on making music with it first. So if we go back to this shape right here, this is the most popular shape you really see on guitar. We're gonna think of it as a major pentatonic, a C major in this particular case here in the fifth position. Here's our roots C, C, and C, right? And the nice thing is, you know, it's all in one spot, but the downside is you have three frets between here, and if you wanted to keep your fingers like this, now you're using your pinky, which isn't the greatest thing. And if you want to use your third finger, you get to kind of stretch. So you can do it, but not ideal. And I, I used to think that, like, oh, I'm going to use all my fingers because I would see a lot of players using their first and third fingers a lot. And I think, like, well, I'm going to, I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to use all my fingers. I like a good challenge. And that is great to use them all. But over the years, I kind of noticed, like, there's a reason why those first and third fingers are used a lot because they're, they're stronger, they work well, and they fit really well on two frets. So if we can get two frets more, it makes it a lot easier. So looking at that diagonal version, we just start a little lower and then get these notes, this note over here, slide it up, and we could do this. This is like call a diagonal shape, just as kind of useful as the U shape, but the reason we're focusing on the U shape is that I don't really see too many people play it like this, and that is we're just going backwards over here. Instead of going up here, we're going down here. The only little tricky thing is that this note right here, you can wear notice, repeats, but it's not a big deal. If you're going up it, it sounds a little funny, but if you're actually playing around with it, you can just kind of skip around, do it in different ways, make it more musical. It doesn't really doesn't really matter. But the benefit here is it's all first and third fingers, and everything's two frets, except for this one leap right here, where it's also going to that, that same note. And that makes it a lot easier to get some techniques going, like sliding and hammer-ons and pull-offs. Right? And that makes things sound a little better, a little more kind of pizzazz to it right away, whereas here you're a little bit more locked in. So this is something you can just easily try yourself. So I like you to tr get your guitar and try this stuff out, try it in different spots. And if you wanted to try it as E, you just find, uh, you know, your root here is an E. You know, and there you go. So try different areas and get it under your fingers, but you don't really know if it's gonna work for you till you try it out. So give it a shot. And if you wanna look at more guitar tips, check out this video right here because YouTube thinks you're gonna like it.